Hi everyone, it's Kathy with Clear Sky Fiber Arts and Clear Sky Alpacas. And today I'm showing you the alpacas instead of myself. We just let the girls into the backyard. People ask me, well, what do you use alpacas for? And I've talked to you a lot about the fiber, but today I wanted to show you they can be used as lawn mowers. So we let our backyard grow up. And then the girls, we have, see, you can see the gate in their pasture fence. And then we panel off the backyard. So they are, ref they're, they're kept into the backyard. And here they are mowing the grass for us. This is the first time on the backyard grass. So we're going to limit them to an hour because um, alpacas can get bloat um, like horses on the fresh grass, but you can see how well they're enjoying it. They're happy little campers there. So I wanted to give you a... Thanks, Holly. We think they're pretty beautiful, too. There's my favorite little phantom, our little white-faced black silver or dark silver gray girl. And of course, then we have them in our bushes. They like to scratch on the bushes. So I'm just going to sit here a little bit and... Um, answer the question what do you use alpacas for and while you're watching them mow the grass we'll talk a little bit more hi Kelly <laughs> yep these are the girls you can see over on the other side of the fence we have some of the boys yearning to be with them but they're not gonna be we have 51 Laura 51 alpacas on our farm here this group that I'm showing you in the backyard right now mowing our grass these are our girls we love each one of them. Everyone has a name. I'm trying to find little squeakers. She's a little bit bigger now than the picture I showed the other day. What else can our alpacas good for? Well, in our on our farm, fiber is the main thing. Fiber, fiber, fiber. And um, then, like I said, we um, either let them out in the backyard to mow for us, or on our front yard, Rick mows, and then we feed the grass to them. Bell's having a fine time rolling in the grass. They love it when they're let out here. So I figured, yep, I'd share with you what alpacas are for today and let you see them because I don't very often do the videos of the alpacas. And I thought you might enjoy it today. Yeah, they look shaved. We, we um, had them shorn on May 3rd, so just a couple weeks ago. So, yep, now they look like little Ewoks. I'll have to show you another, I'll have to do this again in the fall so you can kind of compare the videos. Here's Estrella. They like to roll. There's Queenie, our old white gal. She's enjoying herself. Oh, there's Squeakers. Woohoo! There's little Squeakers. She's bigger now. Isn't she cute? <laughs> yep. And then, of course, the boys are separated. You can't keep the boys with the girls. Um, we do, here on our farm, we do controlled breedings because we like to know when those babies should arrive. And I figured I'd just show you a little bit more besides all the fiber. They're just enjoyable. We like to, I'm on the deck right now. We have a deck along the whole back of our house. And we just like to sit out here on the deck and just kind of watch them. And I thought you might enjoy watching them too. They're very peaceful. So enjoyable. So enjoyable. So anyway, that's the scoop today. <gasps> yes, they look giraffey today. Yep. That's because they were shorn just on May 3rd. Yep. By in the winter time, when they get their fiber back on, their necks will be the same same size as their heads, so they won't look so giraffey. <laughs> they belong to the camelid family, so camels, llamas, alpacas—they're all in the same family. Hi, Janine. <laughs> oh, Laura, yeah, you should come and sit on our deck with us. Everybody needs to take a road trip and come on come on up here to Clear Sky Alpacas and sit at, sit at our farm and. Do your crafts here. We like to spin and weave and things here on the deck. 
<laughs> and a little bit, I, I can throw in a little bit more about our farm. See the tree line in the back right now? Our property goes back to that tree line and then over here to the right behind our neighbor's property. We have 34 acres here. <laughs> yep, you have to come to the farm and then you can feed and pet them. <laughs> So, yep. But that's what I thought I'd take my time today, and I wanted to do a video for y'all and um, talk a little bit about the alpacas because we wouldn't have our fiber arts business if it wasn't for them. So we owe that to all these alpacas who go through the shearing process and give us all their beautiful, beautiful fiber. So I hope you enjoyed watching them today. I'll do some more videos of them coming up soon. Okay, um, what's the difference? Yes, I get that question a lot too, um, Brianna. Llamas are very ta much taller and they're 300 pounds and alpacas are more my eye level and they're about 120 to 150 pounds. So size is a lot of difference. Their fleece characteristics are a little bit different now, llamas are used for packing, like you can put a pack on their back. And alpacas usually are not used for packing because they're smaller in their demeanor. So they're just used for fiber like a sheep. Yep, they're, they, they're a little bit bigger than a mini horse. A little bit taller than a mini horse. A lot of people, when I'm carrying them around in the back of our minivan, they think they're big dogs. And then if I let them come out on their leads, because they're all halter and lead trained, so they'll walk on a lead like a dog, um, and they're surprised. And you see a lot of shocked faces when I let them jump out of the minivan. <laughs> and, yep, we um, bought our minivan specifically to transport alpacas. The salesman was a little... Um, he had a puzzled look on his face when I took out the tape measure to make sure I had enough head space for him. So that's all for today. So I hope you enjoyed your visit with our alpacas today. And again, um, if you're in the, in the area ever, um, give us a call and come and visit. We do farm tours by appointment, and we always love company. So you all have a good day, and we'll see you again soon. Bye now.